Guys, throw me your collections in a showcase. It's in the sub chat on the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. If you're not in there, we're going to see who has got the best stuff. Ooh, all right, spicy. We got the cool cat list from Big Bake. <laughs> we have all of the first 5,000 moments here for the cool cats going into then that second set with the Anthony Davis reward and then followed up by the Colonel Anthony Towns. I think this is a W. I think this is cool. I love the theme about it. You got him covered. This is good. I like it a lot. The Shill Showcase. Love the name. We got Anthony Davis, Zion Williamson. We're going for the 15K moments sprinkled in here with a little Cole Anthony. Rookie moment, Joel Embiid, number 82. Yo, look at the cereals. I didn't even notice the cereals. Holy shit. Nice. All right, JTG. Goats. He's throwing the goats in here. <laughs> And yo, your KD is number 83. Look at this. All right, Morathon. Okay, listen. If this isn't like a hundred thousand dollar like showcase, I don't know what he's trying to show off. Keck. So rar. <laughs> I listen. I knew he was gonna go big or go home here. All right, we got a Luka Doncic, M Jelly number six, a Chris Paul number six, a number 38, Damian Lillard, a number 59, Jason Tatum. A number 85, Steph Curry. A number 95, Jokic. 112, Jokic. 115, Mitchell. 115, Lillard. And 119, Zion Williamson. All right, well, that's a front runner if we have a finals. Rooks, three digits, and Luka. This is mad props off the bat because they're already, you know, saying, hey, this is what you need to be looking for. I like when people specify what you're supposed to be looking for. Okay, so we got Emmanuel quickly, Cole Anthony, Jay Sean Tate, Patrick Williams, Cole Anthony, and that's where the rookies stop. And then we're down to Evan Fournier, John Collins, and a little bit of Luca, Luca, Luca. I like the theme, and I like the description. 10 out of 10. All right, King. Hall of Fame. LeBron 3, Luka, Giannis, and Robin Lopez. Why the hell did you put Robin Lopez in this? Because it's for fun. Gotcha. Good. Good answer. Good answer. Not good? All right, Xander. Did you even make a showcase? Listen. This guy calls himself the head mod, and then he just sends his account with five moments in it. Listen, just, just, just put a little bit of effort. Just a little bit of effort. Top 10 by the truth. What the hell? What? What is this? What is this? This is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. Truth. Truth. Stand the frig up right now. Wherever you are, stand up right now, because this is unreal. LeBron James, or sorry, MGLE, run it back, Kevin Durant, number 79, throw down Kobe tribute, normal Kobe tribute, normal dunk series one, first moment, Luca, MGL, I feel like I'm ready to pass out. Now I know why somebody reacted to this with the spicy emoji before I even looked at it. Facts. All right, E. Tablo, Black Mamba, Hollywood Nights, okay? Yo, why did this just start playing? Okay, listen, I guess we gotta watch this, hold on. I guess we have to watch it now, all right. I'm sitting back, I'm ready to enjoy. Aw, oh, the flute! The flute! All right, low cereals. Ooh, spicy. James Harden, number 48, sorry. Pascal Siakam, number 311. Zach Levine, 180. And a Damian Lillard, 432. Drooby, nice. I think whenever Toronto is recognized again, Pascal Siakam gonna be gonna be going up in value just a wee little bit. Still tilted as hell 
over the Norman Powell trade. Don't let me get that uh, out of my head. But James Harden, anything James Harden, I'm a fan. R bar, badge pump, laughing face. Okay, so we got the rising. Yo, you got number 104? Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, 240, Tyrese Halliburton, number 90, James White. Yo, these cereals are fantastic. Choking, Randy. Let's see some good balls. You got some because you got the big dogs. We got LeBron, LeBron, KD, 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 Luca, Luca, KD, Luca. Wait, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Choking, Randy. Listen, you can... You can edit this, guys. Remember, we know how to take screenshots, and we know how to edit these stuff. Why would you put Kevin Durant randomly smack dab in the middle of Luka and Luka here? That doesn't... You just gotta put... It's one over. It's just one over, baby. What are we doing? But otherwise, it's still solid. I like it. Good stuff. This makes me wonder what we're looking at. Well, let me see you. You have 18 Seen Star Hardens. What the hell is going on? You bought them on the dip? Okay, cool. That's like, ha! Hunter, that's like $350. You guys remember when this would like theoretically be like 3K plus? CAC! CAC! That's awesome, dude. That's really good. All right, Bestial. Come back in five years. What? Oh, this is spice. Wait, it's number two tray. Holy shit, it is number two tray. Did you get this from a pack or do you buy it? You're a whale. He's a whale. Hot damn. Yo, we are having the crossover episode. And look, there he is, Mr. Plunge himself. Good sir, how are we doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good. So, Plunge, I think you were the person that started this Kevin Durant thing. And correct me did not. Wrong. I want to make did, it okay, abundantly okay. clear because I don't want to take credit for it because the people that that started it should get credit for it. But it was I think it was either in the main discord or something else that someone tweeted. So like there was a tweet. And at the point that I retweeted it, there were already 100 out of the I don't know. I think there were like 800 listings at that point that were already uh, at that like 69, 420 thing. So I saw that and someone had tagged me in it or something. And I was just like, this is hilarious. Thanks for clarifying that. Cause I, I seen you were the first person that I seen that was talking about the, you know, like the posting of it. So I was like, Oh, okay. Plunge so <laughs> leading the charge on this one for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'll, I'll wear that badge <laughs> so that you don't, that no one has to be like, Oh, I'm the guy that started the 69, 420 thing. That was like totally inappropriate, but you know, so, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, true. I think the community aspect of Top Shot is so undervalued. And not that we, you know, we want to like pump our own moments and stuff. And like, in a way, we kind of like do just by talking about certain things that we're into. But for yeah. this, when we can literally say, hey, if you happen to do this, Kevin Durant, you were probably one of few people that, you know, got into it early. We're all down. This sucks. Let's just freaking yeah, do it's that. awful. And then everybody it's looks no at fun. it and it's kind of funny. Like, it's, it's funny. There is, there is a very distinct difference of your perception of what is happening in Top Shot based on when you came in. And I know that you've talked about this before. Um, and I was actually, I, I'm in a, a lot of DMs. I talked to a lot of people. I talked to a lot of really smart people. I talked to a lot of people that maybe aren't as smart with it, but they're still genuine and it doesn't matter, right? But like everyone's perceptions are super colored by their own personal experience with the platform. And that's that's totally understandable, but it's it feels like crap to be down and beaten down for the last four or six weeks and really don't not having like an understanding of what the light at the end of the tunnel is and feeling downtrodden with it for someone who who aped in hard in the middle of february and bought at the peak of everything and now is down 40 or 50 percent on moments that they purchased at that point and then maybe didn't sell on the way down like it's hard for me to understand the like this is dapper's problem we are going to leave when we can because I can withdraw, like whenever I'm able to withdraw without realizing like this is an incredibly speculative investment. It's a it's a beta product. Yes, there are problems with it. Yes, there are things that Dapper could have handled better. But like, what were you expecting? And and if you didn't expect that there were going to be rocks, like rocks and rolls, like I hate to say it, but like maybe you're not the person that like we want in the on the website. I don't think most of your viewership is in that place though. I think like, 
I, I chime in or I, I come into your Twitch streams a lot and like, it seems like people are pretty good vibes and have a good understanding of this and um, in general, and they're willing to like change their minds about things. Um, but it's, it's really interesting kind of sort of like the echo chamber of Twitter's toxic, like the sky is falling and it's hard to sort of it get looks yourself bad from, from like a PR perspective on a lot of stuff. Like it's not that great right now. And I think a lot of users are like, yeah, I, I totally agree with your sentiment on what you were saying in there, but I just want to, cause I know that there's some people that might not know who you are. Can you give me like a quick yeah. little brief down of like, you sure. know what you do, who you are and all that kind who of stuff. Am I? Uh, yeah, my name's Pete. <laughs> I go by Plunge Father on Twitter. Um, <laughs> that so my my background with this is that um, so I run a and have run for the last five years a fantasy sports like betting social group. The best event that we do is tour, Fantasy Tour de France, which uh, I've gotten very good at and is uh, over the last five years. And it's a total blast. I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning and watch NBC. I buy like the $60 NBC cycling pass so that I can watch like the in-depth coverage of it. But one of the guys in that, that was one of the first people in, I think he got in year two, what was my best friend in college, was in Top Shot in like October. And he started shilling us his Bam Adebayo MGLE. And he was like, anybody want to buy this? And I was like, what are you talking about? And it was like mid January. And right after he sent that, like the Bales article came out. And so we all sort of dove head first into Top Shot. And like within three days, I was like finding stuff on Crypto Slam that like people couldn't figure out. And there were a few enough people at that point that like anything that you put out on Twitter from a data perspective was just like totally gone. Yo, it's up so crazy how it was like nobody nuts. gave a shit back in the day. It was and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing. So I started like digging in and I started feeding information to like LG at the first mint and started putting stuff on Twitter. And I literally started my, my Twitter account on February 1st. So like I had a personal Twitter account since like 2011 or whatever, but I just started this like, you know, my plunge father is my, my handle in Slack and uh, in my Slack group, it's called the plungers, like, you know, speculative better or whatever. That's the alternative de definition. Um, but anyway, I just, it, it sort of turned into this like persona do you think that the Top Shot user base is one of the most sensitive ones in the <laughs> existence of ever? And I'm talking Call of Duty, League of Legends, poker, people that watch TV shows on the regular and see that out. How's your sentiment in terms of like Top Shot people and uh, kind of the yeah. sensitivity around like anything at this point? So, oh God, that's a, such a loaded question. <laughs> such a loaded question. I think because the Top Shot community, broadly speaking, lives and exists in in Discord in particular, there is less <laughs> there is there is less um, amplification and uh, noise canceling than there are in more public forums. I think a function of that is the way that these platforms actually operate and that the way that they keep you engaged. Um, and it can be a really positive thing, but it can also be a really, really toxic thing, which is part of the reason why like the general discord is just a total mess and it's just useless to be in there. Yo, it was cool. not always that way. <laughs> the, the, the craziness you, of like backdrops or like when anything goes bad, it, it, people just completely freak out. And I actually just sent you something to DM that I th think you should play. It was a YouTube video that I that someone sent to me uh, today that only has like 280 views on it. But um, I don't know if it's something that you can play for the stream, but it's like a very short video of from the Dapper Labs YouTube page of like a very early iteration of what I think was at least a concept for uh, a mobile game. Whether or not that's actually what hardcore is. Um, and what it might look like moving forward is kind of interesting. So I don't know if you can play it. Yeah, we're stream, playing but... it right now. I don't have the audio going with it, but we're just trying, trying to look at it. That is very interesting. Wait, it's what? just like a very brief thing. This is okay. Huh? Bizarre, right? I'll say, you can send it to chat too. I don't care. It's like it's, <laughs> it looks like it's private, but <laughs> you know, the bot, the bot, <laughs> the bottom part on here says Steph Curry and it's James Harden. It shows uh, Chris Paul and it's Bam Adebayo it says LeBron James and I think it's Cam Reddish, Jimmy Butler and it's Damian Lillard and then Kawhi Leonard and it's Derrick Rose. Like, okay, so these ones were obvious. <laughs> Talk about a beta right here, just in, in that thing. But yeah, that's and you just somebody just randomly sent that to you. 
Yeah, it's like someone someone got it pulled up and they're like, "Hey, has anybody seen this?" And I was like, "Nope." And it was I think it was going around in a Discord. Um, I I gotta go. I just realized it's almost five. I gotta go pick pick up my kids. Oh no so, worries, dude. All right, it was late. a pleasure. Yo, peace in the chat <laughs> for Mister Plunge you, Father. Appreciate having you, dude. We'll have you uh anytime you're wanting back <laughs> we'll, again. We'll back but enjoy yeah, enjoy sure. getting to the kids. All right, have a good one, guys. <laughs> All right, peace. All right, cool. That was Plunge the Father, the Father, the Father.